A royal commentator has claimed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are no longer able to stay at the royal family's favored residence in New York City, U.S. During their recent visit to the Big Apple for the Global Citizen Live event, Harry and Meghan stayed at the Carlisle Hotel. This was reportedly the residence of choice for Harry's mother, Princess Diana, but now a royal commentator has claimed that the couple may have been forced to stay there after being unable to use the residence usually used by members of the royal family. Lady Colin Campbell, known as Lady C, explained on her YouTube channel, the royal family can use the Consul General's living quarters in New York. The Consul General can host the royal family, and the Consul Generals often do. They do not host the royal family when it is an unofficial visit, actually, sometimes they do in fact, if they are in favor. Shaking her head, Lady C, however, suggested that the Sussexes had not been offered this opportunity, claiming, Harry and Meghan? No. They've stepped down as working members of the royal family. Lady C clarified that the fact the Sussexes continue to be listed on the royal family website, doesn't mean that they are working members of the royal family or acknowledged to be such, or that they represent the Queen. They do not represent the monarchy in any shape or form. Since stepping back from royal duties last year, there have reportedly been frictions between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the royals. This reached a melting point when the Sussexes appeared in an interview with U.S. host Oprah Winfrey, where a number of allegations were made about the pair's perceived mistreatment by members of the firm. And, although the couple no longer officially represent the monarchy, some commentators have claimed that their trip was the U.S. first step to establishing a rival royal family across the pond. This comes as speculation is rising around when Meghan and Harry might return to the UK, the couple having not made the trip together since Meghan gave birth to their daughter Lilibet in June. One expert has even claimed that Meghan may never return to Britain after the pair's popularity has shrunk. Royal commentator Robert Jobson has revealed that Prince Harry will have regrets leaving the royal family just like everybody does. The Duke of Sussex stepped down from his working royal position alongside wife Meghan Markle in March 2020 citing a desire for privacy and financial independence. As part of the new position he has been building himself outside the royal family, the Duke has renounced his honorary military roles. Speaking to Royally Us, Mr. Jobson said, I have absolutely no doubt having covered the royal family for over 30 years, known Prince Harry as a little boy, has spoken to him on numerous occasions, he will have regrets. Everyone has regrets even though they say no regrets. He's had to give up a lot, his links to the British military. His love of his family where he's always seen as a bit of a joke but also a very much loved yet member of that family. He went on, and I found it really strange that Meghan does have a problem with families, there's no doubt about that. Her own family seems to be all at war. When she came to be with Harry, she was invited to Sandringham, she was invited to the bosom of the family at Christmas, something normally does not happen until you're married. And he said on public radio that they are the other family that she never had, which of course upset Mr. Markle who had spent a fortune on education, doted on her and was deeply hurt by that. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stepped down working royals on February 19 last year. In a statement, they said, after many months of reflection and internal discussions, We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. They said they plan to balance their time between the UK and North America. They added, this geographic balance will enable us to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born, while also providing our family with the space to focus on the next chapter, including the launch of our new charitable entity. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have remained vocal activists for causes they care about since quitting their royal roles. The pair took a leading role in promoting COVID vaccinations and urged world powers to share in their stocks of jabs with poorer nations.